Hello, it's time for another NRF 24L01 test and this is going to be another test using those big ass Yagi antennas to see how far they can go over quite long distances. I tried this once before at ground level um, just along a flat road, as flat as I could get but it wasn't completely flat and I think we had some interference from the ground and could only get about 5 kilometres. The road that I tried it on was 10 kilometres so I was sort of expecting that the signal might be able to go that far if it had a clear line of sight. And speaking of clear lines of sight, that's exactly what we have from this point. So I've found a place where I can put this antenna and look straight over there and it is perfectly, perfectly pointing at the, the water tank on top of the hill of the farm where I used to live. And um, it's quite handy to have lived there looking out the window at those hills for a year or so because now that I look at those hills I can see exactly where I need to point this antenna. Although of course I did check everything with Google Maps and use the compass on my cell phone to make sure it's oops, that's like that. <laughs> it's a, that it's exactly pointing in the right place. So this is a nine kilometer clear line of sight. Not quite the ten kilometers that I wanted but um, well the hills are just where they are and you have to sort of find someone who's willing to let you when I roam around on their property and do things like this. So that's what I've ended up with and I'm hoping that just judging from the uh, the quality of the signal at 9 kilometres we'll be able to make some deductions about how it would have been at 10 kilometres. And the other reason I chose this hill or why I really like this hill is that if we look in the other direction we have a pretty wide open plain area and if this 9 kilometer test works out with, with some good signal, I'm thinking to turn the antenna around and go down that way and um, try for a 14 kilometer stretch of, I think it will be mostly clear line of sight. There might be a little bit of trees and stuff in the way on that direction. I don't know really, but uh, the, there's no hills in the way, but there may be trees, I think. So anyway, that's, <laughs> I won't be, won't be doing that if this 9 kilometer stretch doesn't work out first though. So anyway, now I've got to drive over there and check how the signal is at the, the other hill. Actually, just before I go over there, I'll show you a zoomed in view of the hill that we're going to, just to give you an idea of how far away this kind of thing looks at 9 kilometers. So that's a 20 times zoom on this video camera. And if I zoom right out, it looks like that. So it's, uh, it's a fair distance away, it's getting, getting difficult to see without some sort of a zoom, but I can still just see it at this distance. Okay, so just to establish a baseline or a 100% value, we're looking at just over 500 packets per second at this point. That's about the maximum I've seen ever, so I'm going to call that 100%. Well, I'm almost at the top of the hill here and I'm just looking at the numbers on my receiver with just the whip antenna and the numbers are not very good. There's only one number actually, it's uh, zero. So I was thinking at this point we might get a little bit more. So, uh, hmm, maybe I'm just trying to stretch this a little bit too far but I'll see what happens when we get up there and I'll put the Yagi antenna on here and, and Hopefully that'll improve things. All right, I've stuck the big ass Yagi on here now and things are looking much, much better. As you can see, I'm just sort of pointing it down at the ground in front of me, about 45 degrees downward. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it says 400, and, well, it's, jump, it's over 500 at some points. It's not going below 400. And, oh, until I say, and then of course it does. But if I point it even just sort of in, in the general direction of where that other transmitter is, 511 I just saw then, that's the highest number I've ever seen. But it's over 500 consistently, 507, 508, 506. Wow, looks like we're going to have to do that 14 kilometer test after all. And on the way up the hill here I was getting a little bit uh, discouraged, I thought maybe it was, wasn't even going to go 9 kilometers, but it's doing this nine kilometers in fine style. 
And if I point away, we get six... Oh, I had it on zero just before. Yeah, so if you point it just right, you can get it to go to zero sometimes in, in the opposite direction. Uh, but over there, it's definitely, it's like 500 all the way. Nice. And just in case that wasn't in focus, I was trying to film with the Mobius before, just a moment ago, but uh, you can see it's just sort of sitting, sitting on, almost on the ground, just propped up on the bag a little bit. It's pointing pretty much in the right direction. And this time it will be in focus and I can check. Oh, come on. I can make sure it's in focus so you believe me. Look at that, 507. Definitely over 500 all the way. Really quite, uh, quite a good signal here. All right, so that answers that question. Now let's go back all the way over there somewhere. It's a little bit harder to find this one because I'm not familiar with what those hills look like. But somewhere along that row of hills and um, we'll turn the antenna around the other way and we'll go possibly up to 14 kilometers in the other direction. Well, I turned the antenna around and now I'm heading towards the 14 kilometer mark, which is down there. And I've stopped at the 10 kilometer mark. Uh, this road does not travel directly down the beam of the antenna. So we're not really inside the beam here, but I thought I might just check and see what we can get. But it's mostly zero. I saw, yeah, there are three packets per second there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's three is the highest I've seen. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. 100, oh, 200, 300. Okay, this is good. Let's, let's keep going. So we're not even inside the beam here, but I just got 300 through those trees if I point it just right. So this is a, this is a good sign. Let's keep going. Okay, here we are at the 14 kilometer mark. It's 14,004 meters to be exact. And again, we're getting pretty good signal. But I discovered something, which I probably should have realized earlier, and it's the reason that I went from getting 0 to 300 at the last point. You just got to turn the antenna up vertically so that it matches the transmitting antenna. So when I put it like that, see if I can show you, that's getting 0. 0. Now if I turn it 90 degrees so it's vertical like that, now look at it. 506? So it's basically 100% signal again. And I, I don't know if this is going to be in focus, so I'll film it with the proper video camera later. So here's the antenna, it's sitting on the bag again. It's not really pointing in the right uh, direction vertically, it's actually pointing down a bit. But nevertheless, we are getting, uh, let's see. not quite the same numbers we were getting before is it like we were getting 507 508 before quite consistently but now we're getting closer to sort of 504 505 so I think maybe it's a little bit weaker than before but not really much I mean not even 1% really so um, yeah I'm quite impressed that works nicely I can't get it any higher, of course, even if I try try and point it a little bit more precisely, this is still the best I get. Um, so I'm just going to finish my experiment for today at this point. But uh, as far as this video series goes, oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> it tipped over sideways. See, this is what I mean about it not being up the right way. It has to be up vertically. It just fell over, that's all. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this, this video series uh, looks like it's going to have to continue because 14 kilometers is not enough to push this thing to its limit. So um, I think I'll just leave this video here for now, but I'll have to revisit this in future once I've found some other places to do this from that are going to make this antenna have to try a little bit harder because it's just taking this in its stride so far, isn't it? Anyway, hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching.